All right, guys, this is uh, the Oslimo U Show. I'm joined by Ronnie Ramides, the owner of Shreveport Limousine. He's got a question. What is it? Because I sure as heck have no idea what's coming out of your well, mouth. Well, this is something that we uh, discussed over lunch. And, and when we're all sitting around, you can normally tell the the relevancy or how it impacts everyone because everyone's quiet and mm -hmm. they begin to listen to what your response may right. be from it. So I think a really good question we got was, uh, how do you know that uh, the, the, the industry or the uh, entity that's uh, processing your SEO and your Facebook ads and your Google ads, if you're, if you're doing it outside, how are they able to, how do you know if they're really doing what they say? And then I think that uh, you had some insight on the ability to measure that mm -hmm. and to hold them accountable. And yeah. So I think that Facebook ads and Google AdWords are completely different than SEO on how you manage mm -hmm. and how you measure that, right? Mm -hmm. Number one, if you're paying somebody to do that for you, they need to be doing it in your account Absolutely. that you own. So in Facebook, it's gonna be in your business manager account, yeah. right? So that way you can see every ad, you can see all the, the data, everything that's in there, and you can see that they're delivering what has been promised. Same thing in Google AdWords. Um, what I see all too many times is that people hire out to agencies like my agency and then we pull it into, the agency pulls it into their account and you don't get to see it. That's right. That's a problem. Um, in regards to search engine optimization, I think that's a whole nother animal because you don't really see the work uh, that's going on in the SEO. Um, and because it's kind of a black hat kind of jaded industry, I think a lot of it, I believe when you're selecting somebody needs to come based on referral and trust of the person that's giving you that referral that has had success. And I think what um, I was looking for was you had a really good answer, which was not necessarily the answer that we wanted to hear. Which is it's the truth. Yeah, what you said was I, I make no guarantees on that because it takes so long for it. The yeah, results okay, so to sorry, I, yeah. I, I missed something. Yeah, you're 100 percent at lunch. A lot of people will guarantee you first page of Google in six weeks. They'll guarantee 10 percent a month over the next six months. That's right. Yeah. Um, I only do SEO for two limousine companies um, in the country because I really don't want because the ex your guys's patience isn't long enough. That's right. SEO takes a long time and it's very expensive and it's a lot of work and time and effort for us every single month. So I would prefer not to do it. I'll do it on select cases as long as the, the client is right and they understand and have realistic goals, right? So I cannot promise, I won't promise anybody a return because your brand, your uh, the brand in your marketplace, the infrastructure and the SEO in your current website, because a lot of people, a lot of SEOs will take somebody on and won't even, and you, and you won't allow us to rebuild or touch your website. Well, that's a problem. Then I should fire you for not letting me to be able to do my job. So there's so many variables and factors that go into it. And a lot of the SEO stuff happens behind the scenes in code and infrastructure and HTML and stuff that most business owners don't understand. And when you can't touch it, feel it, and you have negative experiences in the past, and I can't show you those 10% growth every single month, then you get negative feelings towards your SEO, right? And that's why I want to stay out of it as much as I can. No, I agree. And I think but what, what I really took away from that was we have so many operators. And I think a lot of the ones that were sitting around the table that have been taken for tens of thousands mm -hmm. of dollars over the years. And you, you go with the person with the best sales pitch instead yep. of a trusted source. So uh, I guess what I wanted everyone to know, uh, taking away from our conversation today was if you're hearing that sort of pitch, that person's probably not being as honest with you as they should and they're probably not going to be able to deliver a 10 percent gain every month as it as they say they are so be be cautious and be aware of of these. back to day one at boot camp when i was doing the four hour seo session if they're delivering a 10 percent return month over month say in the first three four five six months they're doing black hat seo and you are at risk uh because that can affect your url and your domain yeah. name and you can be get, you can get shut down and blacklisted by google so what i think is I think the, they really have to know the limousine industry as we went through the keyword planner and the research yeah. and when we delivered the AdWords campaign, same thing for SEO, right? I know this industry, I'm pretty emphatic, I think I know this industry as well as almost anybody, if not anybody else in this industry, specifically on the marketing side. And if you go to just any shop and they don't know those right keywords and they don't know how to do it, they're not going to benefit. You may get a bunch of traffic, but it's going to be vanity traffic of people that That's aren't right. going to buy from you. So that's the other big thing is get away from the vanity KPIs. I don't care how many people visit your freaking website. I would rather have a thousand people visit my website with a hundred people buying from me every month than 10,000 people visiting my website with 50 yeah. people buying from me every exactly. single month. Yeah. So what I would suggest is make sure you get case studies and get case studies from, from that company or that agency or 
you know, the SEO guy that's sitting in his underwear in his mom's basement, you know, in a dark thing watching, uh, you know, Days of Thunder or whatever it is, and then call the people that they're giving you the case studies for. Yeah, the references. I mean, yeah, I mean, I can give you great references and great case studies uh, for people in the industry. I mean, the biggest one really was Z Bast, you know, back in the day. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna deliver you the same results mm -hmm. because of market, because of competition, because of all those things that we talked about. So be really careful of those results and that sales pitch. Very good, I appreciate that. And I think that helps. It, it certainly helped me when I walked away from the table because we're, that's one of the things that we're, we're probably pitched on more than anything is mm -hmm. SEO traffic. And, and a lot and, of spammy emails that you get on absolutely. a weekly basis. And you know, I mean, really you can probably expect about three, three to 4% kind of plodding along. And that, that's gonna be different in New York and Chicago than it is potentially in Shreveport. So you should be yeah. paying less in Shreveport than somebody should be paying in Chicago. Yes. And the big problem is, is there's so many people in the big cities, like in New York and Los Angeles and Chicago and Philly and Miami, that are spending three, four, five hundred dollars $500, they will never get a return. Yeah. Period. It's just, if you're in a market of that size, you're spending 1,000 to 1,500 minimum, minimum, to be able to get any advancement on search engine optimization. You could probably get away with somewhere in the $500 to $1,000 range in Shreveport, yeah. but you know, you jump down into those two, $300 plans, just not enough, enough time and money. Somebody's either cutting corners or you're not gonna see anything. So it'd be, it maybe even be more, more uh, better return on investment to hire an outside salesperson to go and to help develop those relationships if you don't have time to do that yourself is. I mean, there's a reason that I've spent zero dollars or zero of my time or my agency's time on Limo University for SEO. I do, yeah. I do what I do from a marketing standpoint. I do Facebook and I do email and that's it. That's it. No yeah. SEO at all. So I'm putting all my eggs, I'm leveraging these channels that I've tested and I know that work. And I think that these people that are spending $500 a month with no results, if they pulled that out and put that in the Facebook, put that in the PPC or allocated that to a bonus program for a salesperson or hired that salesperson, they would see better results. Well, and one thing that I may ask you if you were not is why would it work for me if you're not using it yourself? And in some instances, it's a different industry. Mm -hmm. But if, if you don't believe in it enough to put your own money there. I believe in it 110%. Exactly. Yeah. But what you just said, it's a different industry. It is. So I've got a, big, I've got a bigger brand built in this industry nationally or internationally than, than you have in this industry, sure. right? Or than what probably most limousine companies have in their own individual local market. And the one thing about SEO is there's intent behind it. And that's extremely valuable. But that intent only typically goes about two or three results down on yeah. page number 62% of all clicks go to the first two organic uh, results on a search engine page or the top two ad placements. So that's four placements, two paid, two organic, they're getting 62% wow. of the search volume. You go to, you end up ranked ninth or 10th at the top of the second page. Wasting I mean, your it's like being buried six feet under. Yeah, yeah. So great questions. I, all right, Thank thanks. you for joining yeah. me on, yeah, uh, on the absolutely. Show. Hopefully I'll see you guys uh, at the LCT show in a couple of weeks or on the next episode of the Ask Limo You Show.